So I'm going to be using the half and half since it was replaced with my heavy cream and I am actually out of almond milk. So I may have to go to the store today to get more almond milk because I did plan on making some um, keto chow for the week. So fun. So what's a serving of half and half? Serving of half and half, two tablespoons. So 30 milliliters. And my scale doesn't read milliliters. So the closest I can do is grams. And that's not very much. So I definitely did uh, 64. 64 grams of half and half in my coffee. Oh my god, I can smell. This is the toasted coconut and I can smell it. It is very, very coconutty and I love it. I got this new rug from Dollar General. It's so cute. Got two of them. I did the dishes. So I did the dishes and I changed the trash and I did all Corey's drawers because today he is at work. This is the second day at work and I'm excited for him. He was excited. He had fun on his first day. He worked. His first day was um, Thursday. Today is Sunday. Then he had Friday off, Saturday off, and then he works today. He actually has, uh, he works the next four days and then he's off and then he works the next two days. Call me crazy, but I am using my lid on my Crock-Pot Express because I think that the only damage done to it may have just been the cosmetic outer plastic. I really inspected the seal line and the metal inside itself, and I'm really hoping, but I'm not so sure. I don't know. We're just gonna let it heat up and see what it does. It's freaking me out. I don't know. It was probably okay. It actually even sealed, but my anxiety is not going to let me use this lid. I'm going to make myself some eggs, and yes, I'm doing it in a pot because I have one frying pan. <laughs> and I took those eggs. I did peel one, and it was soft-boiled. So if you like that, I didn't even get to five minutes in the Instapot. It just went through the heating up phase, and that's what it did. So I threw them in a pot, and I'm just going to finish boiling them. Uh, I have two, I think, of these sausage patties left, so I'm going to use those with some cheese in that egg that I'm making and just make a little um just a little breakfast. I just realized I said the craziest thing. Yes, I do too have almond milk. I have that big box of almond milk that I got. I can prep my keto chow. Also, the toasted coconut great value is amazing and I think that I just got my package from Jess over at Journey to Health. She had said that um she sent me something but well, I got to flip my sausage. She had said that she had sent me something but Amazon never delivered it and so she had to re-get it. So Let's see what it is. I, I cut the tape. I'm absolutely covered in dog hair. So I cut the tape and I've not opened it yet. First, I just want to say thank you, Jess. Why does why do things like this always happen? I swear, I swear to you, this just literally arrived at my door when I was filming that part where I said I only have one frying pan. It is a cast iron skillet. It's a cast iron skillet. <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird. Thank you so much, Jess. Thank you. I, I'm just, I feel like sometimes I can tell the future or something. <laughs> Do you guys remember that time a long, a long time ago where I needed, hold on, sausage. Do you guys remember a long time ago when I needed um, like $100 or I needed money? I don't remember what it was. And it's when I had my P.O. box and I was, I got off work and on my way home from work, I said something like, I wish I could just find a hundred bucks. Wouldn't that be nice if everybody could just find a hundred bucks today? And later I was like, I think I'm going to go stop at the P.O. box. I went to the P.O. box and there was, somebody had sent me a hundred, it was for my birthday. Somebody had sent me a hundred dollar gift card. And that's not the first time something like that has happened. For some reason like I say something and then it'll happen it's so weird thank you so much for this now I have to redo my dinner plans like, well wait no I need to do my learning and I gotta like get this seasoned and do all this stuff oh this is so awesome I, I need to open it not for you this time I think Oh my god it's so beautiful oh it is pre-seasoned look at it look at it oh it's so nice oh it's so nice Jess thank you so much oh it's nice and heavy oh my god I'm so excited I can't wait to make something in it here's my here's my very odd breakfast two pieces of sausage with a piece of cheese in it two eggs and then that one hard-boiled egg that I it was soft-boiled but I boiled it without the shell on so now it's super boiled 
All right, guys, I'm getting ready to make dinner in my new cast iron skillet. I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much, Jess. So you will need some half and half, some chicken broth, some garlic, some green beans, some chicken thighs, and some seasoning. I am kind of going off of an old recipe that I had pinned on interest forever ago. I will try to remember to link it in the description. So I pinned this so long ago. I'm not going to be using <sighs> <laughs> Just. I'm not going to be using the bacon, but this is from Eat Well 101. So if you want that recipe, you can go there. Oh, it even says here, it is keto friendly if you just replace some of the stuff. Um, Where's the recipe? Sometimes I hate the web pages. They, they just have things everywhere. Okay, so four to six, four to six chicken thighs, skinless and boneless, salt and pepper to taste, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon Italian seasoning, two teaspoons olive oil, two tablespoons butter, four cloves garlic, um, I'm just using my minced garlic, one small onion, I do need to get my onion out, a third cup chicken stock, one and a third fourth of half and half, or you can use heavy cream, a cup of sliced mushrooms, I did forget to show you, I also do have some mushrooms, one teaspoon crushed red chili pepper flakes, optional, parmesan cheese, I don't have any parm, I do have mozzarella that I can use, bacon, I'm not going to be, bacon, I'm not going to be using any bacon, and, and then a spring onion. I know it's loud because I have the fan on, but I just season them with paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. All right, so I, I took my chicken out and now I've added in the two tablespoons of the butter, the garlic, the onion, the red pepper flakes, and what else is in here? Um, the Italian seasoning. And I'm just cooking this up for about a minute and then I'm gonna add in the chicken stock. gonna let this cook for another minute or so then we'll reduce the heat and we're going to add in our half and half or the heavy cream whichever you want to use and then we'll let it simmer and we will taste it and add whatever seasonings we need to add of course I forgot to add my green beans so I just added those in a little bit ago I've been letting them cook and now I'm gonna add in the half and half now we gotta let this cook until it simmers so I added the chicken back in and I'm just letting it simmer and thicken up and it should be done soon. It looks so, so good. I was gonna top it with some cheese and put it in the oven, but I feel like the cheese that I have, the mozzarella cheese, it just won't go well with this. Now, if it was the Parmesan and you did add the bacon to it and stuff, I think that that would be really good. I did add some extra salt and pepper to it because I tasted the sauce and it just was kind of bland. Once I added the seasoning to it, it brought a lot more of the flavors out and it tastes amazing. All right guys, it's done. Look at this, Ew. the sauce. I did add some chives to the top here. The sauce is nice and creamy. I can't wait to dive into this. I did make some rice for the kids. I am going to opt out of the rice because I don't I don't have any more of my uh, shirtake rice or any cauliflower rice. So that's okay. This is gonna be very filling enough for me. So I'm gonna make the kids plates and I'll show you mine when it's all done. Okay. 